Don't no artist want to hear they they fell off, but you gotta understand what's 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 the definition of falling off. You can use that term so loosely. What is falling off? Falling off to me is fucked up somewhere, got down under a bridge mm. with no paper, with a box saying, can, "Can I get some food?" That's falling off. We speak in the aspect of, of falling off musically. Like they don't hear you on the radio. They don't see you visually. That's not falling off. You know, mm. say so every player got off season. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta go back to practice. You gotta goddamn get back in the gym and get your skill get your skill set up and come back out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like during that time when niggas saying I was falling off, we was I was working on Kiss Five. We didn't drop three, four projects underground that built the fan base, the reason why we was torn. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I, lottery was getting cooked up. I was on I recorded lottery on tour. Mm. You feel me? So when niggas was saying falling off, it was of course I did want to hear, but I'm like, Phew. Wait till we got down and unload it on the air. You know what I'm saying? We're going we gonna to get the last lap. It was always that conversation like, how the hell we fell off? I do this shit in my sleep. I make hit records in my sleep. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like, every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Uh, what's popping, everybody? Mr. J Hill, J Hill Podcast. Oh, uh, man, this one right here is a special episode. This guy, I mean, the come up is real. This nigga been lit since <sighs> forever. Like, man. I mean, you got to take the four off of that motherfucker. Yeah. You feel me? This nigga been making moves, major moves in the city since, I don't even want to say the, what, 2007? Bro, this guy has been making moves. It's an honor for me to interview this guy. It's an honor for this guy to sit across from me. K Camp is in the building. What's what up, dog? Good, dog? What's happening, man? Appreciate it. Nah, Appreciate no, the love, you dig? No problem, dog. Yo, I, so I got something new, right? Okay. This could go either. It's a, this can go really bad or really good. It's my first time ever doing this. Mm, right, Try it with you, right? So I got ten statements. I'm gonna say them one at a time, and I want to get the first thought that come to mind or thought series of thoughts. All right. All right, and if it's nothing. Say fuck it, I'm gonna scratch. So that. I just tell you how I feel about what you about to tell. Exactly, the statement. I'm gonna say the statement. All right. First statement is New Atlanta. New Atlanta. It's always New Atlanta. I've been in New Atlanta since I was the New Atlanta. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's every every two years. You know what I'm saying? The city gonna change every two to three years. It's always something new. That's why that's what I love about Atlanta. You know everything. You you you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cities, they be stuck in that mode. You know what I'm saying? I say about five, six, seven years in Atlanta, you're going to always catch something different. You know what I'm saying? You got the hyperpop, you got you got the 21s, you got the uh, you got the Cardis, you got the, when I came out, you got, you know what I'm saying, Migos, you got Thug, you know what I'm saying? You got the OGs, Gucci, the Tips. It just, it just, it's always, so when you say New Atlanta, we've been hearing that shit. So y'all been hearing that shit since Man, we've been hearing forever. New Atlanta since forever. I we thought, was the New Atlanta at one point. Okay, you feel me? I never, I never knew. I just always hear because I'm, I'm not from here. So yeah, I hear, for sure. Um, the Olympics. That's what they say. That's when the New yeah. Atlanta came. Like, see, we've been hearing it since that. You feel me? That because that was crazy. technically the New Atlanta. You feel me? But okay, you know this shit been New Atlanta forever. So this was on the list originally, but I took it off. But I'm just curious. All right, talk to me. Milwaukee, born. That's it. Raised in the city. That's it. Atlanta. Okay, cool. Four All right. I was, just, I was just curious. You know I'm saying? That's where the family at, though. That's that's where the heart at. You know what I'm saying? Never never lose track of where you come from. You know, I still go out there. But, you know, that's what that's what made count. Okay. Head bust a click. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gang. <laughs> gang to this day. That's you it. Feel me? Gang <laughs> to this day. That, that was the first rock group we was in at uh, high school. You know what I'm saying? One of the members in this motherfucker. Oh, shit, you was a member. <laughs> oh, oh, God, shit. you know what I'm saying? So that's that's still game. That was just, you know what I'm saying, the, the pre stage of what this became. Okay. All night. Classic. Original. That's what that's what got my feet wet. That's what got me, you know what I'm saying, my first $500 for a gig. Mm. $500 in a great goose, you deal, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that was one of the ones. That was a college, a big college record during that time. 
And you know what I'm saying? It still it still live on. You can still find it. I still it's 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 a few DJs that still might just drop that motherfucker if I'm in the club. Mm-hmm. I don't wanna hear it personally. But when I do hear it, I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Nigga but really. I feel like it, it, it meant something to you because even just doing my research, like, you always, like, you don't never let niggas forget, like, bro. Yeah. Even before the first song you heard, yeah. oh, it was going up in the For city. sure, for sure. That's just one of the ones, you know what I'm saying? At that time, that's, you know what I'm saying, the song party all night. That's all we was doing, honestly, mm-hmm. five, six days a week. Young niggas, 17, 18, sneaking in the clubs, paying a DJ a dub, getting them a little, you know what I'm saying, a little tequila, Henny, whatever they drinking, and just outside, taking the everybody hoes. Fighting, doing all type of bullshit. We was partying all night, young nigga. Okay, okay. Red sounds. That's current. That's the game. You know what I'm saying? You put head buzz a click, and with all that, you, you got red sound. But that's the label, man. You know, uh, we've been pushing this brand for about three, four years. As far as far as like officially, we've been 427 since. You know what I'm saying? Head but you know, all this shit been a thing. You know what I'm saying? We were slum, we were slum lords before red sound. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? But I feel like back then. The slum brand didn't have no commercial vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Slum meant we just fucking niggas hoes and just outside just getting drunk and just turn. You feel me? That was slum was. Niggas really want to know what slum was. We just outside. We when slum. did you make the change? Because that's some that's some smart shit. Did somebody whisper in your ear like, "Yo, you gotta change"? Nah, I've been on that. I've been on that type of time. I'm, I'm real. I'm real good at marketing, bro. I'm real good at just seeing what a game at. You know what I'm saying? Of course, my business partner. You know what I'm saying? And, and my guys around me assist. But when it comes to just seeing. Where the game at and where it's going, I always got my mind on. That's why I always change my rap name. That's why I go from K Count to Way to K Way to King Shlon to Float. You know what I'm saying? I always mm-hmm. give something new. I always change my look, change my identity. You know what I'm saying? Grow dread. You know what I'm saying? It just, you got to evolve with this shit. You stay the same, niggas going to forget about you and put you in the back. That's smart as shit, bro. Um, I see, I think we saw, I think Yo Gotti had, did that too with the CMG. Like, that shit was smart. I didn't For even sure. know. It was cocaine music, right? Mm-hmm. Now, what is it? It's like, Y'all it know probably is, but he he probably didn't made it more enterprise, like more like corporate. Yeah, I forgot the name. Yeah. They changed the name, but, but like you got to, bro. The fact that you did that by yourself, like yeah, for early. sure, for sure. Cause we was, slum- you know, what I'm saying it, it, a lot of shit played a part in that. You know what I'm saying? Cause we were, we was slumming on the road. We was on the road for like two or three years. We was slumming, but I feel like it was niggas back home that was claiming the shit, but wasn't really like representing well. And they got mm. kind of watered down. You got niggas doing the handshake that really ain't gang. You looking at niggas, they trying to, hand- you know what I'm saying? You be like. So I was like, oh, we gotta switch this shit up. But even it's crazy because even if they was as young niggas, I'm just we going back for the yeah. idiots, right? As young niggas, even if they was claiming it well, right? Yeah, that could still come back and bite you on the ass because it's like if somebody do some bullshit. If somebody do some bullshit, but it almost did. Some some serious happened with that. So you kind of learned at the yeah. I okay. had I had I had I had, I had to just you know what I'm saying just separate myself from certain niggas. They was on bullshit and it kind of got it. I was the head of it, so it wouldn't went left for me. Okay. You okay. Me? Let's see. Let's see what else. What else? Okay. This is a diff, uh, interesting one. I'm just curious. I hope I pronounced this shit right. Is it Sanguine Paradise? Sanguine Paradise? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want a statement on That's that? That's a statement. <laughs> That's the uh, word. Oh, shit. It. Platinum. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> probably double platinum. Probably triple platinum. That's just, that just legacy right there, bro. That just, that just showing, you know what I'm saying? Salute to Uzi. You know what I'm saying? That, that, Uzi did some real nigga shit because we flew out to New York and we was in the video. If you pay attention, we in that video too. But um, that just showing hit records can last forever, bro. Mm. And you can still get paid off them bitches. You get what I'm saying? I ain't know that was coming. I ain't even... <laughs> Sanguine Paradise, shout out to Uzi. Out. <laughs> How <laughs> did that happen? Drama in Does his people hit your people and be like, yo, oh, we're sure. trying to do the sample? For sure. You know what I'm saying? You know who you over there with Generation now with Drama and Lake and all them. My guys, you know what I'm saying? They just hit me like, hey, Kemp, Uzi. Remade, do it. You know what I'm saying? Can we get the paperwork done? I'm like, shit, let's do it. At that time, was you thinking that shit was going to go? I mean, it's Uzi, so anything is possible. Was you thinking that shit? With the song or Uzi? The song. Man, anything Uzi dropped, go platinum, double platinum, triple platinum, quadruple platinum. That nigga, he got the the, the secret to this shit. He got the fans. He got his his retarded. So as soon as I knew they wanted to uh, put that paperwork down, I knew I had another plaque in the mail. (laughs) <laughs> oh God! That's another yeah, one that for the, in the wall. Studio. For the yeah. studio. Oh God! That shit always gonna it. look good, right? I know it's double, triple platinum right now, so I gotta get the updated one. Okay. It's a fun. That's another funny one. Super Gremlin. Oh yeah, Gremlin. <laughs> I, I slipped on that one. I ain't gonna lie, I slipped on that one. Shit, Kodak. <laughs> does, does that ever? Does that? Do you still think about the? Like, are these something that you think about? Like, man, you know what? 
My whole career, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I made like probably like five, six mistakes like that on records that was huge. That I got them, could have got on, and I just never got on. Mm. It just, I don't even know how to explain that. You know what I'm saying? Yet pulled up on me in, in, in Florida, you know what I'm saying? And uh, shout out to my home girl, you know what I'm saying? She had a good relationship with Yet, and he don't fuck with nobody, so she got Yet to pull up to the spot, you know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? We did, you made bro feel comfortable. We drinking, we vibing, we playing, he playing records, I'm playing records. And nigga put like five, six songs on my laptop. I gave it, well actually I gave that nigga five, six songs after the fact, when I went back to to Atlanta, to my studio. Put like five, six songs, you know what I'm saying? At first I'm just like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the rest of real nigga shit, cause niggas ain't gonna, cause I know for damn well I ain't dropping five, six songs on no nigga mm. computer and just leaving, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no telling what's gonna happen to them bitches. Yeah, but he don't give a fuck, you feel me? But I remember hearing that record, I had that bitch on my computer for weeks, months, Never did nothing with it. Never touched none of them. Mm. And we, we driving to a show. I forgot where we was going. And, I, and YouTube come on, new Kodak record. And I'm just like, damn, this shit sounds so familiar. You feel me? I'm like, damn, that bitch sounds familiar, but I'm not really catching on. Mm. So I went back home, got in my laptop. I was like, oh, man, I slipped up. Mm. I could at least put a freestyle out of something. Even yeah. if Atlantic wouldn't have cleared it. Tch, I was on that bitch. You feel me? All right, let's, let's keep it going. Huh? Oh, God. These are, these, these are like... Historic conversations yeah, that niggas sure. need to know about. Me. For sure. All right, uh, TikTok made it, created it. Still ain't got paid for it, but I'm about to do a deal with them. Mm. Song come out in January. Watch the paper flow. You were you were <laughs> one of the first. Yeah, for sure. Niggas that like for sure. We broke it, mm. and that's that. That's going back to what I was saying earlier. How we always got our post on what's coming next. You know what I'm saying? A lot of folks were stuck. And during the time, you know what I'm saying, this when niggas was really like going outside, fucking with the DJs, doing the doing the guerrilla marketing outside for real, you know what I'm saying? Then that shit flipped outside down and went to the streaming there and straight digital. But luckily, you know what I'm saying, Jeans came from a tech background. He was aware of this shit. Mm. So he telling me all this shit. I'm just like, I'm listening because I know he's smart, you know, he's a smart nigga, so I'm listening. And we just took that information and just said, how can we? Take our talents out this way, out this side, into the, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of niggas that, was, that came up during my time, they don't stream. They ain't make it through that. Mm. It, was, it was like a gap that was closing. If you stuck in the other side, you stuck. If you came through that stream area, you were, you were a streaming artist. You mm. know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, niggas don't understand how, how hard it is to stream and how hard it is to get paid from streaming. You get what I'm saying? So it's a whole different ball game. But, you know, we was on the digital era, in the, in the viral era early, and TikTok was just... It, it, it was a new platform that just fit our mold. Niggas don't know we got Clio Awards for um, like the best marketing strategy, best uh, marketing label. I, I forgot the, the award, but anyway, Coca Cola, Pepsi, Google, they fight for these type of awards, and we beat a lot of niggas in, in, in 2020 with TikTok. And that was all the TikTok. Yeah, and I still ain't got my award. I ain't even pay for it. I gotta pay for it. Ain't that some bullshit? Wait, what? I gotta pay to get the award. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, you feel me? But we got that. It's on, it's it's in a, it's in a uh, trophy case. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, two more questions. Well, it's three. I told you it's my first time doing this, so I probably sure. hit eleven. But whatever. I get it. In the scope. Uh, love, hate. Mm. Love, hate relationship. Love them because they gave me the platform to become who I am today. Hate them because they were scared of me, and they didn't want me to become. What I, you know what I'm saying? What I'm still gonna become, you know. I, you know, you know, it's, it's it's one of them things like I ain't gonna say they hate, you know. I, I I don't got no hate for them niggas, but they know. It's, it's business is business, bro. You know, and sometimes you'll be in a situation with this person, everything going good. This person getting knocked out of the picture. Mm. Now you gotta deal with this person. You ain't feeling that person. That person ain't feeling you. So if that's the if that's the connection, he not gonna he not gonna do what he need to do to make sure you, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they played like a safe ground with me. I stayed in the green, made these niggas millions, you know what I'm saying? I never was in the red, I made money for these niggas, they owe me, mm. you know what I'm saying? I know y'all owe me. Uh, but it, just, it it is what it is, but it's a blessing because a lot of niggas don't make it out of their deals. A lot of niggas die in record deals. A lot of niggas go broke in record deals. I came out my record deal successful and still thriving with a lot more to offer to the game. And, um, it is what it is. Mm, okay. 
I'm a I'm a circle back. This is just the warm up. This is just the warm up. Um, okay, independent. Mm-hmm. Cash cow. Okay. That's it. I like that. I like that. Cash like cow. That. Uh, free creativity. No um, partnerships. Big big partnerships. No 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 little dog shit. I want to talk to your CEO. I want to talk to your boss. Mm. I don't want to talk to no middleman. We're going to handle business how we handle business. If it worked for you, it worked for me. Okay. Rate these three things mm -hmm. from most important to you to least important to you. And definitely tell me why. Okay. Love, respect, loyalty. What got to come first, what comes second, and what you can, can go last for you. That's a tough one. I'm going to go love first. Because what I love, you ain't got nothing. Mm. What I love, you ain't got loyalty or respect. Mm. So you can throw either one of them or other ones right after. Love first. Respect and loyalty kind of like the same things to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You respect a nigga, you're going to be loyal to. Are you? Now, nah, but yeah. But so, I think so. Ain't no right answer. It's Ain't no right or wrong answer. It's, it's but yours. you know what I'm saying? Like, love first. You know what I'm saying? You can't make a nigga be loyal. loyal a nigga gonna be loyal if you want to be. You, that's, 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 that's his choice. You can't force it, but you can force a nigga to respect you. You can force him to respect you? You can force a nigga to respect you. Fear it, fear it, fear it. Fear is respectful. You know what I'm saying? Just being a good nigga is respectful. You know what I'm saying? You can you can force a nigga. You can play how you, you can play the game. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You can scare a nigga to respect you, or a nigga can respect you because you're a good nigga. That's a fact. That's you feel true. me? Okay, that was my ten, man. That was my first time. How y'all? That was cool. You fuck cool. with that? Fuck with that was, thanks, man. Pre yeah, give me some love, man. Little, you know what little you know what ice look. breaker. That was my. Yeah, listen, me? that was my first time doing that. Um, I want to get into the interview now. Okay, bet. Warren, is that um audio still going? Yeah. I right, was just making sure. Okay, bro, you've been doing your motherfucking thing for <laughs> a minute, dog. For sure. For sure. Um. Talk? Can we talk, talk on some real nigga shit? On some real man shit? Yeah, for sure. We men. I, that's why I love having sit downs because we can talk as men. Um, I'm I'm one of the people until I get this interview because I do my research right. But before I get the interview, I'm ignorant. I'm one of the people. I'm like, K Camp. Mm -hmm. I, I, man, real like yeah, he was hot. Mm -hmm. Like what what he what he been up to? Mm -hmm. Right hand to the man. Shout out to my brother. Morning after, the nigga put me on game. He showed me like you. Been having sold out tours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see people like actually talking about you, right? Mm -hmm. This is this is like ignorant me not knowing nothing yeah, sure. because I don't hear no 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 song that might be on the radio. For I don't. Sure. I really don't know nothing. For sure. And I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga doing? Yeah. Salute. <laughs> so, uh, real talk. So I'm like, this. It looked like you've been independent before you was For independent. Sure. For sure. But t can you? I don't even know how to, the the questions to ask you. Can you talk to me about having real motion and niggas not knowing you having motion, but the frustration that might come up, but behind it, talk to me about yeah. all that shit, all of it. Yo, what's popping? This episode is sponsored by Fidel Nero. It's a luxury, high quality, premium clothing line based out of Washington D.C. Listen, man, if you're trying to feel good, look good while you're feeling good, holla at my guys at Fidel and Nero. And they got all types of sizes. I mean, from little kids to grown-ups, from small people to big people. Whatever size you are, they got something that's going to fit you. You feel me? And we got a special promo code for you. Look, because I'm the GOAT, I got something special for you. All you got to do is enter promo code JHill, that's J-A-Y-H-I-L-L, and we're going to give you 23% off. Enter J-A-Y-H-I-L-L. And I'm giving you the GOAT price, baby. 23% off. Holla at my guys at Fidel and Nero. You know the vibes. That's a long story. Yeah, boy. talk to me about the naysayers like me. Like, That's be it. real. Talk to yeah, me. Yeah, from, from, from what you just said, you know what I'm saying? I done heard it a thousand times. But you can, you can, you can, you can pause for a second and say that about a hundred more artists. Not just K. Kemp. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, but a hundred more artists might not be doing shows or... Is yeah, that, but still, hundred more hours might be selling out shit. Okay, niggas, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you okay, feel me? Okay, talk to me. Give me right. Just, this, 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 right. This game, you know what I'm saying? You got you got independence and you got mainstream. You know, uh, it's two different worlds. Um, the major labels gonna feed the the public who they want to feed at that time. You mm -hmm. know, what I'm saying whoever got the whoever got the hottest song, that's who you gonna hear. You are gonna hear the babies, the Megan the Stallions right now. You know, what I'm saying you hearing that all that right now. Two three years ago was a whole different batch. Mm -hmm. Years before that was a whole different. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a recycling game, but as far as me 
in, in my situation, how I've been, you know what I'm saying, we understood from the jump. My first project was called, my first mixtape was called A Star Was Born. The next one was Become a Fan. And it was Fan for Life. Mm. So from the jump, when I first got in the game, my whole niche, my whole goal was to grow a fan base, have a cult following. So no matter how this shit go, I got fans that's gonna ride and I can sell out shows, I can do this and that, I can sell merch, I can always be profitable as an artist. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But what 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 questions you wanna know? Cause this shit, it's been it's been a long journey. You know what I'm saying? I was I was in a major labor system. I'm newly independent. It's my first time being independent since like 2014. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Do the math, that's a long fucking time. So I'm used to being in a major labor system, but I always put my own bread up. Right. I always took the biggest risk. You know what I'm saying? I always was the one like, nah, I need this, I need this. I'm not about to wait on nobody to, to shoot this video. I'm not about to wait on nobody to damn pay this person to get this shit going. So I always had that mindset, just looking up niggas like P, uh, you know what I'm saying, Nip, uh, Ross. You know, it's so all the big dogs in the game who, who be popping this shit like, this what you gotta do, you know what I'm saying? How often were you going on tour? Um, At one point, I was doing like three tours a year. Okay, and at that point, and again, I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to talk from the how it happened. The, you wanna how that how that happened? Yeah. I right, break it down to you real quick. So before before I I, I decided to be a touring artist, I was doing I was doing club. I remember you spot said that. Dates. Yeah. And you called doing, your mom. You said. See, so so you on you on game. So yeah. you know what I'm saying. I forgot who the fuck told me, but it was a, it was an OG that told me like, Camp, if you wanna if you wanna have longevity in this game, you can't keep doing the clubs. Mm. I was cool with the club, nigga. I got rich in the clubs. You know what I'm saying? Getting a couple I'm dollars. doing four, five, four, five, six shows a week. It, it, and you it, in the club. It's it getting that to hard. the point. I'm telling, I'm telling the booking, like, I don't even want to go do a show. Like, I'm getting so much money, I don't even want to go do a show. You mm -hmm. feel me? I, you know, blessings. If you're an artist, don't ever take that shit for granted, boy. That shit don't last forever unless you just, whew. But, you know, it, it was getting to a point, you know what I'm saying? I was at a cap every time, like, my cat was uh 40. I was okay. just doing 40s. In the club? In the club. You must have some big ass clubs or something. I was doing 40s. <laughs> and, 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 and it was in a contract with my label. If I went over a certain amount, they started getting a piece. So I stayed at like a, I stayed at a certain balance. Like, okay. I'm getting this out of me. You know okay. It's me and the team. You feel me? But it got to a point where I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? If, if I don't got a, if I don't got a hit record on the radio right now mm -hmm. or on the airwaves, I ain't going to get booked. Right. You get what I'm saying? You Talk not. to me about this though. This is what I want to know. What's up? How are you able to have? So we know that you, you like, bro. This ain't getting me no money. I want to go on tour. How are you able to go on these tours? How you? How are you? How are you even putting together these tours if you don't have a hit song on the radio? I got hits for sure. <laughs> but we think about people that's touring. We think you don't got to have a hit record on the radio to tour. Mm. You ain't gotta have a hit record. So you putting this together yourself, or the label is doing this? No, this is this is our team. This is my independent team putting tours together. Okay. The label, the label ain't put one tour together. They never put me on no tours. See, All the tours I've been on, been us. See, I love this space because I'm ignorant, and they say ignorance is bliss, yeah, but I sure. can get the questions that so many people probably have, right? Mm -hmm. And I embrace that. It's okay. So, But I'm asking for because sure. usually for the the average person, right? Yeah. If somebody, for lack of better words, not trying to offend you, if somebody's not hot, right, mm -hmm. they're not thinking about them going on tour. Yeah, for sure. So I'm trying to figure out what goes behind it, right? Like, how are, are your team, is your team saying, yo, let's go on tour, these are the, are y'all looking at the analytics on, I don't know, iTunes type shit like that? you gotta look at the data, man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta know where your fans at. Yeah, you can see where your biggest fans at, make a post, who wanna see me go on tour, and whatever, whatever. That, making a post ain't gonna really get do the justice, because everybody probably won't see that post, but it's just going into your back end and seeing where your people at, mm. and just basing your tours. Me, what we did, what we did, we, 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 you got A markets, you got B markets, you got C markets. You know what I'm saying? The A markets like Atlanta, LA, New York, Miami, Houston, that you know what I'm saying? Like them the, the the cities everybody know about. You got your B markets, which is like the Huntsville's, the North Carolina. You know what I'm saying? You like you got different type of we the strategy we had was like fuck up the C's and the B's first. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Go out go to go to all them cities that nobody really fucking with, that people don't come out to. You know what I'm saying? That that want shows who fans, but can't get it. they can't get it. So we go to y'all city. You know what I'm saying? That's why I, went, I used to uh, like post my tour dates and motherfuckers be like, what the fuck is that? Okay. I didn't even know what the fuck it was. You know what I'm saying? But I knew I had fans out there. 
And I know once I go out there, that bit. Okay. And, all, and, and all you gotta do is take that. Oh yeah, this shit loaded. Even though it is in real life, it's loaded. Go to the B market. They like, oh, I gotta get a piece of that. You can take this to the A market. You know what I'm saying? And you look up. Sold out dates. Sold out dates. So. Yeah, that shit ain't easy though. That shit take forever. The only thing you can just go out and think you about to just, uh, uh, uh. At that what shit time took did years, bro. Huh? At, at what time did you see the turnover out there? My last float tour. Okay. Float tour. Okay. I yeah. want to ask you this. I, I've been studying you, right? So I know I know you're a, you a confident dude, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you you know, even if niggas don't know, mm-hmm. you know the importance you, you hold For sure. to this industry, right? For sure. Knowing that, talk to me about the times when you did have the people like me who don't know no better and be like, Kid can't fell off. Yeah, for sure. You heard that. I heard, How was that I making heard, you I feel? I heard all that shit. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, don't know artists. Would you like to hear that as an artist? <laughs> you feel me? Don't know artists want to hear they they fell off, but niggas gotta understand what's 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 the definition of falling off. Nigga use that term so loosely. What is falling off? Falling off to me is fucked up somewhere, got down under a bridge mm. with no paper, with a box saying, "Can I get some food?" That's falling off. When niggas when nigga speak in the aspect of, of falling off musically, like they don't hear you on the radio, they don't see you visually, that's not falling off. You know what I'm mm. saying? Every player got off season. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta go back to practice. You gotta goddamn get back in the gym and get your skill, get your skill set up and come back out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like during that time when niggas saying I was falling off, we was I was working on Kiss Five. We didn't drop three, four projects underground that built the fan base, the reason why we was torn. You know what I'm saying? I didn't. I, lottery was getting cooked though. I was on. I recorded Lottery on tour. Mm. You feel me? So when niggas was saying falling off, it was, of course, some shit I didn't want to hear. But I'm like, Phew. wait till we got there and unload this clip on the air. You know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna get the last lap. It was always that conversation. Like, how the hell we fell off? Mm. Nigga, I do this shit in my sleep. I make hit records in my sleep. I can write. I can write any label favorite artist a hit. I was doing that in 2012. I was getting flew to L.A. to write for Wiz, Gates, T.I. All these niggas that was signed, I've I been doing this shit. So mm-hmm. how can a nigga who got the pen, who everybody trying to sound like fall off? Mm. It don't make no sense. I could take a break. Like right now, I draw kids fire a lot. All this shit went platinum. You know, the, the fall off term, terms, I went platinum and about to go gold. With that, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm taking a break and, break and I'm doing fashion now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to drop three three projects this year. Okay. Three of them. 2023, you're going to do three. Three of them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna do that. Let that, let that, let let the independent run go, let that money flow, and then just have a little fun, just chill a little bit. You say everybody gonna have that off season. Yeah, for sure. But listening to you, it's easy. It's in hindsight, it's easy to have this conversation. Yeah, for sure. I want to know about in those moments before you even learned that. You know, bro, every player had that off season. I'm trying to f- pick your brain at what you thinking then before you even get to the to the understanding of it's okay. Well, I was thinking, then we gotta turn this shit the fuck back up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it was no other, uh, no other thing in my head. It was like these niggas got me fucked up. Mm. I gotta show these niggas what's happening, cause I ain't, I ain't the type of nigga that's gonna fold and just back down and go in the corner. Like, I gotta, sh- you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm playing against a beast that niggas don't beat. Mm. I'm playing, you know what I'm saying? It's like in, you know what I'm saying? Playing a video game, trying to get to the top level. I done finally got to the top level. Niggas know they gonna get their ass whooped and go back to the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, that, but I, those times, remember we used to You play feel me? Uh, you go, you Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. You like, oh, I know this nigga about to whoop my ass. You know what I'm saying? But that's how like, I was looking at this shit is rigged, man. You feel you me? You can't beat this shit. But that's how I was looking at the game. Like, if I got them get through all this shit, I know I'm gonna have to go see the. I know I'm about to get my with ass whooped. You feel arms. me? You but you. I'm going toe to toe with it. And I fuck around and won. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I looked at it. Like, I'm 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 facing, I'm facing the devil itself. Like, What's happening? I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't show y'all niggas I ain't no hoe. I didn't show y'all niggas like y'all can't fuck with me. In those moments when you think like that, because it's it, it's it's definitely positive. But did you catch yourself, or looking back, did you catch yourself treating people, I don't know, a little unfairly, or being a little bit too mean or old, old edgy because like you had this chip on your shoulder and yeah, you wasn't sure. able to recognize During it? During that time, I was, yeah, for sure. Cause I had I had a lot of personal shit going on during that time too. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of people in my family dying. Mm. It was it was back to back. I asked for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot mm. of shit going on. And at the same time, my career was online, so I had to really like I wasn't just dealing with a career. I was dealing with life mm. all around. So you know what I'm saying? But every day, 
I'm making sure the vibe set around my, you know what I'm saying, my game, around the bitches. I'm I'm making sure everything, nobody feeling like, because I'm the head nigga. I, if I'm walking around this bitch sad, looking like, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the, the morale around this bitch going to be fucked up. So I'm keeping that shit up, you know what I'm saying, even though, ugh, I done took another loss, I done took another loss, I done took another loss. This nigga said I fell out, this nigga said, I, this nigga, I see my bank account got down, oh, how I'm got them get some paper, you know what I'm saying? All this going on, I'm popping perks, I'm got them like, fuck it, we, we lit. You know what I'm saying? We're going to just party through the pain. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. But during all that, I still had vision. I still had a, I came in this game with a certain goal. And in my head, I'm like, what I look like just not, you know what I'm saying, thriving for that shit. What I look like giving up on that shit. You feel me? So that was always in the back of my back of my mind. Just, this shit ain't over yet. That nigga might think it's over. That nigga might think it's over. That that bitch might think it's over. I'm gonna show you, motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna show you, motherfuckers. Y'all don't know what hand I got. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't know what I'm playing with. Y'all don't know who I know. Y'all don't know who I got in my corner. Y'all don't know what move I got plotted next. You know what I'm saying? That's why I never count nobody out in this shit no more. Cause I know exactly what the fuck I did. Mm. So for me to be like, ah, oh, that nigga over with, I'd be a fool. Cause you can't count nobody out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga counts you out right now on your podcast, but you know what you got going, nigga be like, well, that shit ain't nothing. Cool. That that's shit ain't, cool. You feel me? <laughs> that's that's cool. cool. You don't know what the fuck we about to shake up. That's cool. So we we always had that, you know what I'm saying? Even though shit was rocky on the outside, the internal stayed locked in. Mm. So we always had the same vision. Mm. So when everybody else thought different, we knew what the fuck was going on. Come back to Atlanta, start Rare. I dropped the first Rare project 2017 with uh, Nard and B. That was the beginning of coming back from L.A. at the... Niggas thought I was over with. When I was in LA, niggas thought I fell out. Mm. Cause I had fell out with the DJ, so they wasn't even playing my shit. So off instant, that's automatically, oh, he fell out, I don't hear it. Cause I was getting blackballed out the city a little bit. You know what I'm saying, they wasn't playing me. So when I came back, it was, it was go time. We started rare in LA, came back with the, this is what we doing when we come back to Atlanta, we gonna build this shit brick by brick. And by the time niggas look up, we gonna be sitting back like, yeah. How you fall out with the DJs, what happened? I don't like to go back into that. Come, I, I, I didn't pat, I didn't patch up a lot of that. Though. I didn't say that bitch a million times in the interviews, but it was. Just, I ain't seen it, and I did. So I did my research. You, I'm pretty you sure you know right I did links, my research. Because I ain't see, I ain't you seen ain't none of that. The right links, but now nah, it was just, it was just a misunderstanding. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying. I let that shit go, but you got to be be careful who you got around you. Mm. You know what I'm saying. Be careful of your team and what they intentions are. Cause that was somebody else's mistake that fell back on me. Like I said earlier, I was the head honcho. They can't. They not gonna blame the the person who did. it. They gonna blame the artist. Mm. So I had to take all the heat for that. And me taking all the heat for that made niggas feel a certain way about me. And once I realized niggas was feeling a certain way about me, that when I left and went to L.A. Mm. I was like, nigga, I got paper now. I'm gonna take my whole team. I took the whole team to L.A. We live in lavish. Big that lyric ab album came from. We lit the, the 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 street was called Lyric Ab. I stayed right down the street and walked Disney old house. Like I'm paying seventeen, eighteen thousand a month. Partying, bitches. It, we we going up every day. You know what I'm saying? But all that shit is cool in the moment when you living it. But then when you realize like what the fuck we in this for? And we was like, all right, we tripping. We need to go back to the city and get right and build this shit back up. So that was the plan. We was out in L. A. We like, all right, we got kicked out of the first crib, then we got kicked out of the second crib. I was just tired of just getting yeah, kicked out. Nah, fact, let me so just was, go back home. You feel me? Like, let's take this shit back home. I'm already blowing all the bread. Yeah. Let's take this shit back to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Find some shit that's affordable. But nah, but um, that's just how it is, bro. That's, just, that's how the story played out. We knew the vision. We stuck to the vision. Niggas didn't believe. That's their problem. I don't care about what a nigga, you know what I'm saying, what, what a nigga I say. I'm curious to know. I, uh Having so much shit on you, being the the bread one, or the head honcho, the, the, the that nigga in charge, right? And you going through so much, mm -hmm. like you said. Is it? I don't have a choice to 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 push through. Do you ever think about what about me? Do you ever had that what about me moment? Of course. How do you deal with that? Of course, I went through that probably like last year. Damn. And and, and, my, and my partner, I've been knowing my partner since eighth grade. Me and him, I, me and him, I was hit when we almost hit in your crib. We almost hit, cause it was one of them things where I knew, as 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 the as the as the head honcho, this nigga who niggas looking at, I ain't, we all big dogs, we all bosses, you know what I'm saying? But I'm, you know what I'm saying? I didn't put this put this rare sound shit, this imprint on our team, you know what I'm saying? But during that time, me as a man, as a grown ass man with responsibilities, 
I knew what I had to do internally to change my outcome. Mm. I had to cut back on a lot of shit that I was on. Bitches, drugs, partying. You know, I still I still get active. I still do what I do. Y'all didn't been to the, you know what I'm saying? We still turn up. Yeah, no, nah, that shit is fire. You feel what I'm saying? We fire. still get active. But it, it, it was like, it was more active than handling business. You get what I'm saying? And I had to realize that and I had to take a step back and, and isolate myself and, and become a student and start learning shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to find out which, you know what I'm saying? I went to YouTube University, bro. I say this shit all the time, bro. I go to YouTube University, bro. I find out who the fuck doing what I need. I hit these niggas up and try to get some game from them. Like, you know, so even if they don't bite down, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the air like, how you do this? What you, what you mean by that? You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I took about a year and a half, almost two years, studying business, mm. studying contracts, studying credit, studying. You said you read a, a like a lawyer book. I wrote my lawyer gave me a book. You know what I'm saying about the just <clears throat> just different terms, and I went back read, read my original contract, seen all the bullshit, and you know what I'm saying, like shit like that. I had to, I had to do some self love, and that's why I said love is first, cause you don't love yourself, you ain't gonna mm. figure this shit out. You get what I'm saying? Isn't it crazy? I tell people be careful what advice they take all the time because depending on where a person is is depending on the advice they give you mm -hmm. isn't it crazy coming out of coming through some shit how that question will like what you came through will shape the answer to that question like for love sure. comes first because i was in a space where i needed to love for sure. myself for sure they asked me three four years ago i would have said something else mm. i would have said i would gave you a whole different three that's crazy you know what i'm saying but you got to go through certain shit to understand what this shit really is. Let me ask you this, though. What's happening? I said this before. It's easy to answer things in hindsight, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning, like, looking back on it and shit. But let's be real. Let's talk about Interscope for a second, right? Mm -hmm. As much as we can say they fucked you, like you said, it's love-hate, right? Mm -hmm. You needed that, though. For sure. Right? I wouldn't take it back. And you if you what knew what you knew now, you probably wouldn't. But you probably wouldn't even take it. Exactly. Exactly. But we ain't, we'll never know what, what my career would have been if I didn't take it. Facts. Will I be still right here? Or I'll be somewhere fucked up. What that nigga didn't that nigga Ye say that at the uh at the award show? He's like, a lot of everybody wanted to know what yeah. I was gonna say if I didn't win. Guess you'll never know. I guess we'll never find you feel, out. <laughs> you'll never find out. But that's facts though, you know what I'm saying? Like all this shit a journey, bro. Mm. You gotta take you gotta take the good and the bad. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines, man. He's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now... You got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I see you there. I see. I don't know about you, but for me, that's scary. I'm not going to tell you why, because I look at my life sometimes and I'm like, bro, the grind got me here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But now, I ain't going to lie, I'm getting a little successful feeling myself. So a lot of things I was doing back then, I ain't really doing now. Like, for I ain't sure. doing that. And I be, I be kind of bad on myself, like... Bro, that's what got you here. You got to keep doing for that. For sure, for sure. Don't never lose that hunger, though. I see, I don't lose the hunger. It's just like, it's just little things I ain't doing now. Like, I ain't Some shit you get too that. good for, my boy. Some shit you start seeing. But that's what I got. But that's but that what, what got you here, right? So you got to just take that and polish that motherfucker up. So give me some advice. So, for example, right, my first hosting show. We just talking. My first host. I, I'm from Baltimore. I drove to Delaware. This shit is ridiculous. I got $50 mm -hmm. to host a show. It's $50. That's not even gas money. Yeah, gas money <laughs> not bro. even gas money. But, that, but I hosted the show. Shit. I killed the show. From that show, I got a $500 booking, another five, a $1,000 booking. Yeah. I got mad bookings. Yeah. I would never do that now, though. But for I sure. understand what it got, the for opportunity sure, for it sure, got for me. For sure, for sure. Talk. Like, are, are, what is, are you, how are you measuring opportunities now? 
And are you having that fight with yourself? Like, man, this shit got me here. I need to go back to the roots. Yeah, but he know I don't take, I don't, I don't budge on, on bread. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got into a PV. Mm. I ain't budging no paper. They, you know what I'm saying? It was one of them things like, money don't move me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm rich in spirit and I got money. You know what I'm saying? I right. got money. So it's like, it's all about, with me, it's respect. Mm. Going back to the three, respect and, and just showing like, it's 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 a partnership. It's a, it's a, it's an equal agreement to what what's going on. Like if a nigga throw some paper in my face. Like I got this to come here and just um, like nigga. I don't gotta come to your shit, nigga. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm me. Keep that shit. You feel me? I got them set up a show right now. Do my own and, and bring all my fans to and and, and have more than your club on my terms. On my terms. You feel me? I you feel me? So it's like I look at shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Back then I would have probably jumped for the paper because nigga right. was hungry. Nigga was goddamn trying to get some money, but. You put yourself in a certain position and you got more worth. That's when, that when they say know your worth. Right. Know your value. You know what I'm saying? Like, know who you is. Like, because, you know, so our money ain't good money. We all, you know, we all, I'm pretty sure we all came from the same shit. And then we all come from, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Nothing. That, you feel me? Like, we all come from that. So it's like, bottom. Like, the bottom. At the very bottom. So it's like, during that time, you, you, nigga, nigga, just, nigga, just scraping to get anything. Like, nigga, I want, I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you took that, you took that, you took that. Now you here. Mm -hmm. I ain't really taking that shit no more. Right. Because y'all was trying me on the low. And my boy gave on you $50 to drive to Delaware. <laughs> that was crazy. He tried you. That was crazy. But it was a blessing. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, you got to just take that and just polish it. You know what I'm saying? Because the higher you get, the bigger the bag get. Mm. So now you ain't dealing with the 50s. Now you dealing with the, the 10s, the 15s, the 20s. You like, oh, yeah, if it, you know what I'm saying? So it, that's all it is. It did bigger bags. So how are you measuring? See, for me, it, of course, clearly it wasn't about the money, right? It was about yeah, the opportunity. Exactly. How are you measuring the opportunities now? I'm still though? taking those type of risk. Mm. I'm still taking. I just took a risk. I just took an opportunity risk. You know what I'm saying? The bag wasn't even what I wanted. Mm. But the look was priceless. Okay. So I was like, all right, I'll fuck with it. You know all what I'm right. saying? I'll fuck with it. He knew. He was, was I bugging? <laughs> Yo, yeah. isn't that fire that y'all could have? Just speaking of that, that y'all could have that. I think that's the dopest relationships, right? Like you, like y'all was about to fight for real, mm -hmm. not too long ago, mm -hmm. like last year for real. Mm -hmm. But like that's clearly your like brothers going to go through that. Okay, like you kind of need that in your circle. That was the first time, first grown time? man. I've been on the niggas A grade. First time about to hit. I mean, but you, but, but, but if it's. It, Think about it though. You knew him since eighth grade. Yeah. If that's a nigga you knew from college, y'all probably would have fought. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get, you yeah, get what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, the yeah, difference. Yeah, yeah. You get, you oh, get yeah. what I'm saying? Like yeah, you need that in your, in your court. That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> some shit. But you, you need that though. For like, sure. That's crazy. So for okay. Sure. So we still taking risks. We, we ain't gonna talk about the risk because we don't need niggas trying to yeah. reach for it. Like yeah. we ain't because nigga here. So what you, what you, what you going? What, what, if you ain't budging on the money, what you budging on? All right, better McCall him. You feel me, nigga? Fuck you, nigga. Yo, Same deal. This conversation is dope to me. And again, I give a lot of respect to my brother. That's why I even here. Cause, bro, I before I moved to Atlanta, I didn't understand. Yeah. And then just being around people who understand, mm -hmm. I'm like, damn, this dude really got more. And then just coming to your studio and shit, mm -hmm. I'll be like, bro, like the structure to it. These the niggas that niggas need to know about. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Right? Be I'm the nigga that's gonna pass a lot of shit when niggas be like, Future got one line that I, I, I live by, bro. What Future say and never, uh, never stop. Said nobody noticed that the jet was in the sky. Mm. They ain't gonna notice mm. to the whole game every day. Huh, where we going? What the, what these niggas talking about? We up. Y'all niggas doing y'all thing. You what, feel me? What inspired the fashion shit, man? Like, what's going on, man? Talk um, to me about this. I always love clothes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I I, I just feel like music took over my life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even even girlfriends I had back in the day, she always, they always say, I like the way you dress. You look different. I like the way, you know what I'm saying? I took that like, I don't look like these niggas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I that's why you with me. Bro. You feel me? I don't look like these <laughs> niggas. You feel me? So I always took that and just ran with it. But, you know, as soon as I got independent, you know, during that time of me, from 2017 to my last album was July, this July, to be out of Interscope. You know how much work I had to put in to get out my deal? Mm. 
Mm. You know how much time I had to spend in the studio to, and the level of crap I had to put out. Like I'm still putting out big records. I'm still putting. Out, I ain't putting out no just bullshit. Like I'm trying to get out my deal. Y'all about to get some bullshit, nigga. I'm really putting my heart and soul in this shit, and just dealing with that. I needed a little break. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? Just on some real nigga it shit. It became work, kinda. It became work. It wasn't passion and fun no more. I really feel like I was going to work every day to get out of this situation. So when I finally got out and I felt free, I was like, damn. All right. So now I don't really got to slave an album just to goddamn make some money. I'm about to try some new shit. Mm. But I'm still going to put out music because now I'm looking at it like, oh, this shit can be fun again. I can do, I can I can play how I want to play. I can drop when I want to. I can drop a song tomorrow if I want to drop. So it's like, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just spreading my wings, bro. And just doing shit that just come natural to me. Okay. You, you having know? fun with it? Like you enjoying the future. future you feel later, me? Now. Like, I, I look at niggas like man. Pharrell and, 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 and ASAP. Them niggas, them niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just categorize, categorize them niggas and say they just make music. But you got to respect, you got to respect everything. What's on the game? My bad. I know y'all had to go. We good. Oh, all right, all right, we, we, I ain't want, you know what I'm saying? We pull up, we straight. Yo, you know, it's don't kill me, fellas. I be getting making comparisons and something be wrong. This shit remind me of like, my experience for the niggas that might kill me for this. OT Genesis. I went to a OT Genesis show. I don't know why. I think I was hosting some shit. He, he did, a, he did a, 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 a set or whatever. Yeah. And I'm thinking... OT Genesis. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, sure. I'm thinking, okay, he gonna come and do one song. Hey, they been rocking, huh? He did a song. He was like, so niggas thought I was done after this. I, yeah. I swear to God, I remember this shit like it was yesterday. Yeah. He's like, then I went and dropped this. Mm -hmm. hit. He's like, and then, you know, they thought I was done after that. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he OT got hits, though. Yeah, I'm like, I haven't been to one. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. Y'all gotta fuck with me. I mean, y'all gotta lock me in. Listen. I I, to you, even me. But that's why I said it remind me of that shit because yeah. I ain't gonna lie. So the first thing I do is, you know, I go to iTunes. Yeah, for sure. And I'm like, oh for shit, sure. for sure. <laughs> oh shit. Catalog deep. Catalog deep. Shit. Deep in the, a lot of niggas. Deep did you did you did you write any crazy thing like so outside of my shit? Yeah. Oh, uh, as far Nigga as you see that, I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't landed nothing that just went crazy. But I don't write for niggas though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? The, the few records I, I, I wrote, it got, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I, I wrote some shit for um, Bad Baby once. The record she got with Ty Dolla Sign, I wrote that. Um, Heavy. I did some shit. Y'all probably don't remember OMG Girls. I had. I remember them? Come on, remember man. OMG Girls? Uh, Regine. Yeah, for uh, sure. Beja. For sure. Yeah, I wrote some shit for them back in the day. Okay. Um, I tried to get that uh, Beyonce uh, Savage remix, but my boy uh, Derek beat me to it because he was already good with the labels, with the... You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't really write for folks. Okay. But you know something. Yeah, I can do it. Who the top five writers you think? I can't tell you because I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking you know. Because it, it, be, it, be, it be a new motherfucker every year. Niggas, niggas Who? them. Tate, oh, yeah, oh, sure. yeah, Tate. Oh, yeah, Tate. Oh, yeah. niggas don't know nothing about Tate. Come on, man. niggas don't know nothing about Tate. Come on, man. That's, 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 Tate, that's, no. Oh, so you Come on, so man. niggas know about Baltimore in this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's so look, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get take number one right now. Facts. Fuck it. Fuck it. You I'm gonna say take going nuts. That's the city. Fuck you it. know what I'm saying? Take. You know what I'm saying? Derek. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that one chick that's on that uh, that uh, Sean Garrett go crazy. But Sean Garrett. I'm talking about new school. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, the girl that's on uh, Babyface and um, Black Blast record. I forgot her name. Huh? Dark skin, pretty pretty little chocolate shit. I don't know. You got me. She hard. Um. I know a lot of writers. My boy Vine coming up, he write a lot of Trey shit. You know what I'm saying? He been over there with me, you know what I'm saying, just fucking around. So You fucking with the space now? Like the music space? You fucking with what niggas like, putting out? That's coming out right now? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. I've been man, you can ask my team, bro. I've been trying to search for new inspiration for like a year, bro. What's it, I didn't start making beats that way. I, I I just gotta find a new flavor. <laughs> Oh God, and I'm getting hard too. Pause. He said it's about to be up for you niggas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't like, about to tell you niggas sending me no more packs. You feel I me? Got I, my own I, shit. I'm making my own beat to the point where, like I couldn't find like. Of course, my producers hard and they dope, but I didn't use them. And then once I put it out and and, and do my flavor on it, everybody want to jump on that. Now nah, the shit kind of ah. But if I rap on my beats, I ain't got to send you niggas beats. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go get me a producer deal and not make a beat again. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't give a fuck about recouping. Like, what they doing? Fifty percent off top. Half an M, uh, M off my beats, and I don't care about recouping. I don't make beats. <laughs> <laughs> give me the bread. Give me the bread. Yo, that's 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 crazy because like that shit can make a lot of money for sure. And niggas be sleeping for sure. Like this shit, just like this game, wicked man. Like honestly, bro, you just gotta know how to play this shit, bro. It's a lot of money in this shit. But it's a lot of ways on how not to get some money. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? Like, nigga, you think everything just sweet, and you be sitting there fucked up still. Bro, niggas be... I feel like niggas be worried about the wrong shit. Niggas be worried about the wrong shit. A like, lot of niggas... And I be seeing niggas worried about the wrong shit, and I just be like, you got to bump your head. Because if you ain't gang, I can't really put you on. It was, was, you know what I'm saying? Unless you, like, around and I fuck with you, I can put you on game, but... A grown man don't want another nigga just telling him what the fuck you need to do. Fact. When I was coming up, I didn't give a fuck what a nigga told me. I'm like, boy, I'm doing what I want. Shit, you can tell me what to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to listen. Like, the fuck but I had to learn this about? shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking of like, like coming up as a young nigga, like, I done had plenty of niggas tell me this, that, and I'm like, but I know what I'm doing, and I ain't know what the Whole fuck time. I was doing. And I had to bump my head. Fact. You feel me? So. You know what I'm saying? Whoever want to get the game, I'm 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 free to get the game, but I ain't about to force the game on a nigga. I feel like too many niggas, and this might sound like cliche or whatever, but it's a cliche for a reason. Too many niggas be worried about what other people think about them. That's hard to overcome, though. It is. It's very hard. I'm a disciplined ass nigga. Like I'm I'm a real like locked in. That's like, hard for you still. To this day, I'm 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 just not getting to the point where. I'm slowly not, it's, 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 it's slowly fading. Oh, so you be looking at the comments and shit? Always. Yeah. For sure. For, for years. Like, for years. Oh, for you years. wildin'. For years. I always be like, Ooh, Still fuck. to this day. Who the fuck saying what? Back in, I don't, I don't really, I don't do it as much, but back then, I was on that heavy, like, every day. I'm typing my name, saying who the fuck said what. I used to see everything, fool. But I took all that. I took all that, and I and I used it to my advantage. Mm. I was seeing what that person was saying. It the fell out. The, 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 the. Oh, that's how y'all feel. Okay, let me got down. Let me go back to the booth and just eh, turn up a little more. You know what I'm saying? So it honestly it worked out for me, but it was toxic at the same time because it fucked me up like mentally. Like now you be like eh. But even in that, I feel like you going into a rabbit hole because I don't even know. Y'all can correct. Me. Like I said, we man, you can correct me anytime. All your hit, like not all, a lot of the hits were party songs, right? Yeah, but in the beginning phases for sure. Yeah, so sure. you know, even at that time, niggas was saying they was like, "These are the niggas that's killing hip hop." Mm -hmm. Remember, like, for sure. So, like, even I even, wasn't a part of that list. That was like Soldier Boy. You wasn't man. a part of that list. I wasn't a killer. But I mean, that was think about <laughs> but it, bro. I know what you're talking about. You get what I'm saying? For like, sure. so it's like I can still hear oh, like you would go, you would drive yourself crazy, bro. For sure. like, you would though, but that's. I can't speak for everybody. That's 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 the route I chose. You know what I'm saying? If I could take it back, I wouldn't. Facts. Cause I wouldn't know the game plan. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's like y'all like LeBron scoring 30, having 10, 10, going to the crib with his with his family and kids. He turned on ESPN and nigga still talking. Still talking. He be like, Oh y'all nigga playing. Okay, now I'm gonna give y'all. 50, 20, 25, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's one of them things. You just, you just make, you just make a nigga eat their words. You know what I'm saying? It just, it, I'm a competitive ass nigga, dog. I don't like to lose. I don't like to. I don't, me and my, me and my partner. You know what I'm saying? When I was in high school, me and my partner Cam, every day when we used to ride the Boost World, Boost World was like a, a gym we used to go hoop at. Mm. Every day we used to get in the car, like, bro, whatever we do. We can't go back. We can't mm. be fucked up. We can't be looking like you know what I'm saying. That was like a. Affirmation before we niggas even knew what meditating affirmation affirmation shit was. Right. Every day, like, but we we not going back to that. You know what I'm saying? So that always stuck with me. Like, I'm not going back to that. I'm gonna keep, no matter how long it take, I'm gonna keep going. And, and, and my process is different from the other nigga, uh, another nigga process. Everybody got their own process. Mm. You know what I'm saying? For the longest of my career, I was I was always like, damn, why me? God damn, I'm colder than half these niggas in the game. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I got more hope. I'm, I'm doing I'm doing the uh. I'm showing y'all I'm the uh. And niggas but, still think. And niggas still think I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, what the fuck I, what, 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 what am I doing wrong? You know what I'm saying? But you you get to a point, you be like, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. It's I'm on God time. I'm on God time. Because one day when I feel like this shit ain't going where it, where it need to go, whole life change. 
and, and everything different. Ain't it crazy how Look that shit work? Look at Dirk. I'm a prime example. I seen Dirk. Dirk, when he got down left, Dev Jan, close that door, bro. See, we was going to say, we, we literally said it, that shit simultaneously. When Dirk left Dev Jam, bro, I was working on Rare Sound, the, the first Rare Sound album, the first label album. I pulled up on Dirk at Main Street. You know what I'm saying? I was always cool with Dirk. Still to this day, I can mm -hmm. hit Dirk now. You know what I'm saying? That's my dog. And I, mean, I was like, you know what I'm saying? My, mind you, I'm still taking my photo deal, so I'm just trying to get out of my deal. So. Right. I'm like, shit, what you got going on? He's like, shit, man, Dev Jam finally let me go. I'm about to go over there with, you know what I'm saying, Interscope Jimmy and shit. I mean, Joey, I don't really rock with Joey, but salute Joey, you know what I'm saying? But It's a safe space. You can say fuck that nigga if you want. Nah, because what if I got to do some bidding with Joey <laughs> no, facts, later? Facts, facts, no, facts. You know what I'm saying? What if I got to send an artist to Joey? See, I be, I be killing myself. I ain't going to lie. I'm probably, I used to do that, too. I'm get black. I was that type of nigga. I was the black ball that nigga time. Like, all right. I need these niggas. These niggas, even if I say fuck them, they still going to be around. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I got to learn that. I, I'm Seeing the numbers on the charts helped me a little bit now. Yeah. But I'm so underground, I came from the bottom. Like, yeah, for sure. That, you pop your shit. These niggas ain't seeing looking at yeah, me. You pop anyway. your shit. I was on that for so long. But for this story, I'm sorry. Go ahead. You, but um He said yeah. you about to fuck with Jimmy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dirk was saying he was about to do this, you know what I'm saying? Go over there, to Joe. And you know what I'm saying? in my head, I'm like, damn, this nigga about to get a whole new situation. I I can only imagine getting a new situation right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, this nigga about to turn up. Mm. If he go into a new building with new energy and they fuck with what he doing and he got to say so, you gonna turn up. Mm. Next thing you know, Dirk the biggest nigga in the game. And I seen it happen and I was like, if Dirk can do it, I know for a fat count can do it. Nah, fat. I seen Dirk do it, you know what I'm saying? It only take one, I ain't gonna lie. This another, I don't know no better. I'm still in that space when I don't, I don't know, I'm not in your space. Yeah. For me it was the, uh, I thought it was the Drake feature. That's what I thought it was. Of course, but that shit but but, but nigga, but niggas ain't checking it though. Before the Drake feature, why Drake even fucked with Dirk? Dirk was having motion. Facts. They were putting out that pressure. Nah, facts. Dirk was dropping. Yeah. Dirk was showing niggas like, nigga, I got fans. Nah, Man, facts. That shit lit. But so, niggas in the hood always fuck with Dirk though. For sure, niggas in the hood fuck count. I f I feel like after that feature. But that shit but was we crazy. all know what Drake do, <laughs> no, man. No facts. Soon come, soon come, soon come, soon huh? come, soon come. Soon yeah, come. Drake. I seen Drake in Miami at Dave and Bust at the hour. You know, you know. Let's soon do, come. Let's do that. Soon come. Let's do that. You feel yeah. me? I want to ask you this, bro. Since we since we having fun, fuck it. You did a couple songs with niggas before they really turned up. For sure. A couple niggas. Like my track record, just like that. I'm an A&R too. A couple niggas. I'm an A&R too. Do you ever be like, all right, bet, what, where, the, where the payback at? For sure. I just had a conversation with another one of my artist homies about that same shit that you just brought up, about an artist that's signed to his same label that I help. I feel like we're talking about the same nigga. Well, it ain't might be, might be a I nigga. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It could be, it could be a dog. We might be talking about the same, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We might be talking about the same person, but you know what I'm saying? It's like it. we in the industry, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can always, you can extend your hand and fuck with a nigga or just be like, oh, I fuck with you, bro, because you a solid ass nigga. And just get, you know what I'm saying, pause. Like, get, just get yourself like, I'm about to hop on this song. You want me for the video? You want me to come to your show? Show you love. I'm fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? You a solid one. And all that can go the opposite way once that person gets some. So it's one of them things, do you stop fucking with niggas? Mm. And then you like the black sheep? And nobody like, oh, I can't fuck with him. Right. Or do you still keep your wings open like, nigga, come on. Niggas know where the flavor coming from. Sheesh. Cause I got one right now. You know, you know. <laughs> you the biggest in the world right now. But you know. You know. I love that we can have this like, bro, it's so refreshing to have this conversation because like sometimes I hate doing these interviews. Cause sometimes niggas, I hate going to the studio. I hate all this shit. I believe <laughs> I believe. I hate it. Like, so funny thing, I wanna ask you this. You know how like when we was when you was younger, not younger, before you was like in in it, how mm -hmm. you in it now, like you like in it, niggas know who you are. Did you used to think like, man, the industry weird? And do you still think that if you did? Yeah, I, from the jump, I knew it was weird, and I still think it's weird. Do you? I'm not an industry nigga though. But you are, nigga. You talking to me? You are, you technically, I make music that get distributed through the industry. You were signed, nigga, but you I'm not an industry. industry nigga. Like when you say industry nigga, you you talking nigga who. 
who get online every day, be goofy, just fall into the trap. Who oh, see, in, I don't look at it like that. What you talking about, industry nigga? Like nigga who got industry who, niggas, who, niggas that's lit. Like everybody that's in see, the industry. We got we got different terms, of industry <laughs> niggas. You know what I'm saying? We got different types. Because you just never know who, like, yeah. Because I'm not close to him. You close to him, so you could have a yeah. different. Opinion. But the industry been weird, bro. I stay honestly, bro. Me as camp as float, bro. I stay in my own world. Mm. I don't. A lot of a lot of niggas in the industry think I don't fuck with them, but that's not the case. I'm just worried about me and my team. I'm trying to take this and make it this. Mm. I can't make this this. Worried about everybody else fucking with everybody else mixed. Being a goddamn studio hoe fucking with you know what I'm saying like just. I hate seeing a nigga in the game who just bopping yeah. everywhere. Yeah. You don't know if that nigga got problem with this nigga. You don't know if that nigga, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's too mixy. So you might fuck around and be in some shit you don't want to be in. Mm. And now you getting X'd out. You know what I'm saying? It's good to network. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm I'm 100% network, but you got to just network with the ones who are true to you, who 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 fit your, fit your mold. So you not being an industry nigga, but understanding being around them. Help me with this. And now I'm just getting game for me. Like, <laughs> how do you differentiate the business? Because a lot of times, I don't know if you can relate or not. A lot of times we think the goofy shit. It wasn't goofy. It was just business. Some things got to be handled like business because, like you said, you can't say fuck. You can't respond to everybody. You can't say fuck every nigga, right? Yeah. How do you differentiate the goofies and being with the goofies or the weirdos between just handling business and doing what I gotta do? Can you even do? Can you even separate the two? As a businessman, as a real nigga, you know who goofy and who handle business. Mm. We, you not dumb, right? You know who the fuck just doing shit, and you know who getting paid. But you still gotta that. coexist, right? You gotta coexist, but that don't mean you gotta lean more towards this way. For sure, for or, sure. You know what I'm saying? You can be right in the middle and be like, I fuck with y'all goofy ass niggas. Okay, but I'm over here too getting to the money. That's the differentiation, though, if that's a word. Is that a word? I don't know. Is no, they? that's not. it is? Okay, that's the differentiation, and I say that because before you understood that, yeah, I don't know, but I was like, man, I'm not coexisting with none of these. Fuck them niggas. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Before I understood. So you had to learn. You got right? you to you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go through the mix. You got to go. You can't. Listen, you got to go through the shit. <laughs> You're not going to go around and think you, you got to go through. Straight through that motherfucker mm. and filter out what's for you and what's not and who doing what. Because when you go through this shit, you going to know who really bought that shit or not. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's what any 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 field, bro. Like, you get a job and you got them trying to work your way up to be a manager. You going to know who the fuck wasn't on their shit and who, who really on their shit. Gonna, it's every, every career is the same shit, bro. Mm. Rap shit. You got to fuck with the niggas who ain't on shit because that might be the clout season. Mm. That might be the ones everybody like, oh, that's you know what I'm saying? You got to uh, step in, step out. But you don't want to be too far in. Because I know niggas who were straight clout and going viral, burnt out. Mm. Six, nine. I ain't going to name a lot of niggas. I fuck with a lot of other niggas. But I mean, that's a good one to name. That's a great one. <laughs> Had the internet <laughs> fucked up. Mm. You checking for it? You checking for it? You probably check it for it. <laughs> he probably check it for it. He probably check it for it. And that's love, okay. It's he probably cool. love that shit. He probably check it for it. Don't check it for it, bro. Not just playing. Do what you do. But now, nah, you know what I'm saying? You got to go through that shit, bro. Like this game, like I said in the beginning, bro, it's, it's cycles. Every two, three years, it's something new. It, you you got to just stay on your pivot. You can't just get caught in a wave, bro. Like niggas get caught in a wave and get left with the wave. Mm. You got to goddamn fuck with the wave. See the wave. Dib and dab. Step out that bitch. See another way. Dib and dab. Of course, stay in your own way. But, you know what I'm saying? If niggas having, you know what I'm saying? If niggas have emotion over here, I fuck with y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, do a song with something. Blah, blah, blah. Step up out of it. Fact. Keep your shit moving. It was just work. It was business. It like, was business. We in the music happen. business. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? And, and you ain't going to always get that feature. But you get seen with this nigga outside. Nigga like, oh, he, hey, he fucking with him. Nigga, propaganda is a motherfucker. Mm. Niggas don't know shit. Right. They're going to take that story and make their own story and tell their partner, and that story going to get remixed a thousand, a thousand more times. It's like the, the fucking whisper game. What is it? Like passing the message? Exactly. You like feel that. me? So it's like, don't, 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 don't get too caught up in this shit, bro. Nah, facts. If I tell any artist, don't get too caught up in this shit. Because you'll lose it. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Scar. Mm. You feel me? Like, do not get too caught up in this shit. R.P. PNB, Dolph, uh, FBG Strap, um, Nip. I know all these niggas. I was cool with all these niggas. I'm putting up, you know what I'm saying? 
take off. Don't get too caught up in this shit, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because this shit will eat you up, bro. Like, as soon as you think this shit a game, as soon as you think this shit play, play, because at the end of the day, this our lives for real, nigga. We got to really go out there to every every hood to perform in front of niggas that we have no idea. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what the fuck. All this shit risky. This business is a risky business. They might call it a bit the risky business. Mm. No, nah, for real, because this shit, you don't, you don't never know. We done been in plenty of situations where I could have, you know what I'm saying? Like, the t you know, don't play around with this shit. Get your money. Stay true to what you know. Handle your business. Take care of your family. Stand on your product. Stand on your brand. Stay out of the way. Mm. Hey, man, that, that shit, we can end it right there. That shit you know was fire. Yo, what, sure. uh, what you pushing right now? I know we know you independent. Uh, yeah. Anything you promoting, talk to us. Yeah, right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving my fans just, I'm giving my fans a lot of YouTube content. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I've been dropping a lot of just loose singles, just shit I got on my laptop that I, I might shoot a video to. Shout out my dog, Caso, and you know what I'm saying? He and this bitch. And he's shooting with he's shooting some my shit. fire. What is that again? It's a big boy. I don't know. He you know said some numbers. Shout out my boy Zeno in the cut. You know boy. what I'm saying? Zeno with an X. Don't play with him. Yeah, he like when I say that, but he fuck with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. But um, now... uh. He fucked up. Come on, Zeno. Who did with that? The X? Zeno, see, I didn't try to get out. You <laughs> fucked up, Zeno. Damn, boy. But now nah, we got that come right now. You know what I'm saying? January, I got a single release. In February, I got a single release. Um, March, I got a single release. And right now, we're in the um, final stage and the closing this deal with this partnership so we can drop this label uh, compilation. That's one of the albums. Um, me and my producer, London, dropping the album, Float to London. Mm. Um, Kiss Six might come this year. And a couple more little singles. So I'm going I'm to I'm 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 just try this independent shit out. I'm gonna do a year strong, just uh, uh I mean, you've uh. been low key doing but your own thing. I've been doing my own thing, but that money was going to a different bank account. Okay. Yeah. So now. Let's let's switch that bank account. Is yeah. there any pressure now, though? Because now you. It, like, then you made a hit. It's cool. It wasn't coming. But now it's like, I made hits. I gotta make a. Is there any pressure? No, nah, because now my fans just want me. Mm. I, ain't, I ain't searching for a hit. I make hits. Now, all my hit records, bro, that I recorded. I never ever in my life, on God, on my daughter, on my grandma, on my cousin, I never went in the studio like, I gotta make a hit. Mm. Never. Okay. Like, oh, we making a hit. I gotta make a hit today. You one of the lucky ones. I go in the studio, I'm like, nigga, where the hoe is at? Where the drink at? Let's vibe out. Whatever come out my motherfucking heart, if that bitch hitting, the world gonna feel it. This shit hard. Hey. This I this shit was hard, bro. I fuck with you, dog. For like, sure. I'm glad we was able to get For a sure. uh, conversation in, man. This shit was. This shit was dope, man. It's not your average conversation, man. Uh, K Camp, J Hill, J Hill Podcast. For sure. Man, fuck with this nigga if you ain't fucking with him. If you not, you know just saying? stay where you at. Fuck it. You feel me? It's a lot of money to be made, man. <laughs> shout out to everybody getting paper. Shout out to everybody staying true to themselves. Shout out to everybody who know themselves. Mm. If you don't know yourself, please don't come around me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a nigga that protect my energy and protect the niggas around me. If you ain't, you ain't on the same time, don't fuck around with us. We ain't gonna match. I fuck with it, dog. J Hill, J Hill Podcast, K Camp, it's a wrap. We out. On game. Dog.